I'm Daisy and we're here at ICE 2023 in London. I'm joined by the Honourable Minister Silvio Schembri, Minister of the Economy, EU Affairs and Lands. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you, even for this interview, Daisy. Malta is at the heart of ICE 2023. You must be delighted about that. Well, obviously the gaming industry, as you know, it's a very strong pillar of our economy and we're very delighted to have this industry calling Malta their home and the talents that they have brought to the island is something that we are very proud of. Now, the regulator MGA recently reported an 8% growth in the iGaming sector in Malta. So how are the government ensuring that this stays a core part of the Maltese economy? Well, first of all, we have a very serious jurisdiction and a very serious regulator. And by serious, we mean that it is a very open regulator, which will have an open door policy to discuss the issues with the operator. But we have a very reputable, strong uh, regulatory regime, which obviously uh, make it much more easier for operator to operate. But at the same time, it uh, has got the necessary safeguards to make a uh, reputable jurisdiction for Malta in this gaming industry. And back to ICE here in London, eSports is very prominent this year, which is exciting. You've been leading those efforts. Can you share your insights to eSports and Malta? As I said, the digital economy um, is very close to my heart. Uh, we strongly believe not only myself as a minister, but as a government. We are quite a progressive government, young government, and we believe in new uh, niches in, the, in our economy. And video game development and eSports are two of these niches um, areas that we want to continue to expand further and in fact in 2019 we're actually I think the first government to do so to have uh, e -game, uh, video gaming policy in Malta and esports policy whereby this, um, this strategy has depicted also uh, schemes and incentives to be able to attract new companies to operate in Malta and then these efforts were spearheaded uh, through gaming Malta whereby now we have also um, a place where startups in this industry could actually set up shop there to and have the necessary assistance not only as a place and locator where to operate but also mentor a mentorship provided by ourselves but this came because uh, we know as you rightly mentioned the iGaming industry in Malta is quite large and obviously we're looking to into new branches of this industry so video game development and esports goes hand in hand also with this industry so we have now uh, a lot of talent in the iGaming industry and the same operators are looking to, into new investment, into new markets. And video game development and esports, I think, present the right formula for us to continue to expand the digital economy. We'll look forward to hearing more. Thank you for joining me, Minister.